Hey everybody, it's Troy with eBuzz Central. Today we're taking a look at Anti-X Linux. But before we get started, let me remind you, please like and subscribe to my video. Doesn't cost anything. If you do not like me, you can always unsubscribe. Plus, if you subscribe, it enters you into the contest for the Asus ZenBook 14 giveaway that we are doing on August 31st, 2021. Now, I'm at the Anti-X Linux website. When you pull it up, it's got the nice little screen background here and kind of gives you a description that Anti-X is a fast, lightweight, and easy to install, systemd free Linux Live CD distribution based on Debian for Intel AMD 86 computers. It offers users the Anti-X Magic, an environment suitable for old and new computers. So, don't throw away those old computers yet, guys, because this operating system right here looks like it'll run on them and run on them well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to close out of Firefox here real quick and show you the desktop. This is what you're met with. I'm running in a virtual box, and up here to the right, you can see that I have all my information, what my computer is doing at the moment, what my Ethernet's doing, CPUs at 1% presently, and if you come down here, it says RAM. There's only 149, 150 megabytes of the four gigabytes that I have assigned to the system at rest. So it at, at rest is only running about 150 megabytes. That's just unreal. Now you've got your background here. I'm gonna right click and see what we have here. When you right click, you're gonna have all your applications right here. You've got terminal, file manager, web browser, editor, app select, applications, personal, recent files, desktop, app killer, control center, refresh menu, help, anti-x installer, run, settings, and logout. And then if you go over here and click, you pretty much have the exact same thing. So the web browser opens up fairly quickly and it is Firefox and it comes to their forum right off the bat. So if you open it up, you install it, anything you got here, you got announcements, news, you've got welcome to Anti-X, You've got new users and general questions. You can go over here. There's 1,456 topics, 12,928 posts. So it looks like their forum is actively used, and it looks like if you have issues, you can obviously get your questions answered right here. So we've got this open in our main screen. Let's pop over. There's our second screen. We can leave Firefox open if we want to. And even with Firefox open and with us on a second screen open, you're only running 436 megs of RAM of the four gigs we got assigned. This is really lightweight. I'm gonna go ahead and zip back over here, close Firefox out. Let's open this up. We've got the web browser we just looked at, app select, applications, anti-X, has a lot of things installed right off the bat. You've got Android device, USB connect, anti-X auto remove, updater, manager, backlight brightness, change Wi-Fi program, C-Root rescue, command line center, date and time, format USB, snapshot, live USB kernel updater, personal menu, remaster, save persistent changes, setup persistence, accessories, you got archive manager, calculator, cherry tree, clip it, calculator, leaf pad, midnight command editor, other desktops, search monkey, I mean you got a lot of apps right out of the box. Games, you've only got DOSBox emulator, Mahjong, graphics, you got GT Cam Digital Camera Browser, LibreOffice Draw, Mirage, MT Paint Graphic Editor, Screenshot, Simple Scan, Internet. You've got Cine, Clause Mail, Connect Shares, Connect Shares Configuration. You can just see Genome PPP, Hex Chat, Links, Modem Manager, Sea Monkey Search Bar Transmission. Multimedia out of the box. You get Alsa, Alsa Mixer, Asunder CD Ripper, Celluloid. GUVC View, MPV Video Player, Poor Man's Radio Player, SM Tube. I believe that is the exact same as Minitube. I'm going to go ahead and pull it up. Yes, it is. You can go ahead and do your search for, let's search for Linux. And it'll bring up straight from YouTube the most popular videos right now concerning Linux. First one is showing Linus. If we hit play, let's see what happens. The vast majority and of it the starts world playing. So we'll it. shut that out and close that the vast majority of the oh, world close it so we'll go back over here where we were at applications multimedia sound card chooser speaker test streamlight stream tune winff xmms and youtube video player and then with office you've got libre office straight out of the box it's got calc draw and press math writer 
preferences, ad blocks, disk managers, customize look and feel. Let's click on that and see what we can do. You can change your widgets. Let's go ahead and make that full screen. Color, icon theme, mouse cursor, font, other icon themes. Can you install, remove? Yes, you can get more icon themes and install them right here. I like the one that they have out of the box. Let's close that. Personal, personal menu help video, recent files, desktop, app killer, control center. Let's go to control center and see what we have here. Let's choose a wallpaper. Let's select a picture. What do we got? Yellow and black. I don't know how good the, let's try that. Open, apply. That looks pretty good. I'll leave that one. What the heck? Desktops, other desktops, app killer, control center, anti-x installer, run, settings, focus, preference, themes. You can go to themes, blue Chris. Oh my lord, you get a ton of themes right out of the box. That is awesome. So let's look at the file manager. You have a simple file manager. You just open it up, come over here, make it bigger. Let's make it bigger. Oh, you just list. You don't have your row over here. It just lists everything right here. So if you want in desktop, you go to desktop, arrow back up, and you're back there. You can select all, left. You can sort by name. I like this. It's lightweight, has a lot of functionality. You can put it on older PCs and not have to worry about performance because we're still hovering around 180 megs of the four gigs. That's a quick look. Let's see here. HTOP. It has HTOP out of the box. And according to HTOP, we are using 244 megabytes of 3.86 gigs that we have assigned to it. And our processors are hovering around 0.7%. There it went up to 3%. So this is a very lightweight desktop environment but it's very functional which is what a lot of people look for today so if you're not into the flash if you're not into the newest looking icons if you're not into wanting to make your pc look like a mac or a windows machine and you just want function over form this is definitely the operating system for you that's just a quick view of anti-x linux it's called the anti-x magic desktop environment if you're somebody that wants a minimal desktop environment this is definitely one to give a look at but i appreciate y'all watching today remember to like and subscribe so you can be entered into the asus zenbook 14 giveaway that we're doing august 31st 2021 and i appreciate y'all watching the video and i will see you in the next video